What is progressive overload? Why is it important? And how can you apply progressive overload to your own training? This is the topic of today's three minute Thursday video. So let's put three minutes on the clock and let's go. Progressive overload is the gradual increase of stress placed upon the body during exercise, which is basically a fancy way of saying that your workouts get more intense over time. But why do you need that? Why do you need to make your workouts more intense over time? Well, because progressive overload is the only way that you can become stronger and build more muscle mass. But why is that? Why is this the only means of getting stronger and becoming more muscular? It's because your body will eventually get used to and adapt to the stress of lifting weights. Meaning that when you lift the same weight for the same number of reps all the time, your body will make you just as strong and build just as much muscle mass so you can comfortably lift said weight for said number of reps. But that's about it. Because your body doesn't want to indefinitely add muscle mass because it's very costly to build and also to maintain. And if you don't need it, then why build it? That's why you need to gradually increase the stress you place on your body over time. Or in other words, you do a little bit more than last time. And this will signal your body that you're not done yet with building muscle mass and getting stronger. Okay, but what does it mean to do a little bit more than last time? To understand this, we quickly need to detour and have a look, quick look at training volume. In the scientific literature, training volume is defined as the number of sets times the number of reps times the weight that you lift. And it has repeatedly been shown that training volume is a very good predictor of muscle growth, meaning that the more volume you do, the more muscle mass you can build. And so in order to progressively overload, you need to increase that training volume. And you can basically do that by modifying any of these three factors. You can lift more weight, or you could do more reps, or you could add another set. Okay, so far, so good. You know how to progressively overload, but how do you know when you should do so? As a beginner, you can probably progressively overload every single workout, either by adding another rep or two or picking a heavier weight. And when adding more weight, then I would recommend increasing the load by maybe two and a half to 5% each time. But as you get more advanced, you probably can't progressively overload each and every workout. And that's just fine, that, that's normal, nothing to worry about. But this is where intensity comes in very handy. Briefly, if you want to build muscle mass, then you should leave no more than three to four reps in the tank at the end of each set. Which means that if you approach the end of your set and you feel that this is too easy, then you know it's time to progressively overload. But there is one very important thing and that is technique. So whenever you consider progressively overloading, then first make sure that your technique is on point so you don't risk any injuries. But that was it for today's video. Everything you need to know about progressive overload explained in three minutes. And if you'd like to see a bit of a more in-depth explanation, then let me know in the comments down below. And on your way down there, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. So we're gonna see each other in the next video. Bye.